the most disappointing team in baseball besides the Yankees, who, who would you say it is in this moment? The Cardinals, definitely the Cardinals. I'm like, what, yep. what the heck? What? I had them at the top. Like I had, I was like, oh yeah, like first or second, easy in the central. And now I'm like, what the heck is, what are you guys doing? And so many promising people to look forward to on the Cardinals. And now it's, it's just like a nightmare. And I feel like they are in a very dark hole right now, but who is your team? That was my team. Was it yours too? The Cardinals? 10 and 21 and they're 10 and a half games out of first place. Yeah. Yeah. And and the central, you know, no offense. Again, I'm not, I know this is where I'm not going to be a level-headed Yankee fan, but like, it's not the AL East. It's not one of the best divisions at major league. What are you doing as being dead last? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's my, that's my most disappointing team. Pirates are eating their lunch. Yeah. I was looking at the Cardinals just like, checking out their baseball reference because admittedly I haven't tuned in to see a lot of their games. Their their starting rotation is the worst thing I've ever seen. Their mm-hmm. ERA is five as a staff. Oh my God. And I'm just like, all right, well, well, they have Arenado and Goldschmidt. It's like Goldschmidt's hitting, but Arenado's striking out twice as much as he did last year. So like, um, horrible. Their pirates are pirates are going to win that division this year. Book it. Pirates, pirates are cruising. I, they might. I mean, I kind of, I think that would be really cool if they did, honestly, like good for pirates fans. They deserve it. Absolutely. Yeah. Who is your most surprising team in baseball? Ooh, surprising. Okay. I'll give you like kind of back and forth. Surprising was Dodgers in the beginning, but now I'm kind of like, oh, surprising in a good way because now they're just rolling. Like now they're doing really well, but they kind of had that like shaky start. But now I think that they're kind of getting back on track, like, you know, putting 13 runs against the Phillies. I mean, insanity especially with the team like that um but yeah so surprising like at first i was like what are you guys doing what's going what's going on here and now they're surprising bouncing back what about you mine is surprising in a good way it's the tampa bay rays oh yeah everybody knew that the rays would be good they've been to the playoffs i feel like every year for the last like five years but 13 wins in a row to start the season is it's unheard of like they have one of the best offenses. I think they have the best batting average in baseball right now. And then last yeah. year in the playoffs, they couldn't buy a run. So yes. it's like to see this 180, and it just looks like they're having so much fun. And um, yeah, it's it, it really did come down to I think health and like I, I don't know. They just they're playing loose and their pitching is they have a, a staff of Cy Youngs, and then there's people that come up from AAA like Taj Bradley. So. Yes. And um, I think they they lead in runs too. I think as well because they're just like mashing like against the White Sox. I'm like what coming back like that? Like, I don't know. They're just, and I think it's, I love that you pointed out, like they just look like they're having so much fun. They're just like enjoying themselves the entire time. It It's so much fun to watch as a Yankees fan though. Doesn't Tampa like owns the Yankees basically, right? They, they don't, they have real, a lot of success every time they play you guys. I feel like it's more split. Um, but this year should be tough. I think last year it was definitely more Yankees geared, but in the past it's like, I think they have like 60, 40 that way towards okay. Tampa it's a, it's a tough series whenever whenever you guys play Tampa I mean, it's it's a whole, yes. that's a lot of fun to watch too did I think my second most surprising but like I knew they'd be good was was Pittsburgh I was like, sho- I was shocked I was shocked at Pittsburgh yeah. I did not think they would be good I was making jokes I'm like oh poor Brian Reynolds he is like locked to the poor Pittsburgh Pirates they're holding him hostage and now I'm like oh made the right decision good job Brian Reynolds <laughs> there's a there's a meme going around when he was like demanding a tr- or when they first offered him an extension it was like um the the atlanta braves signing somebody for like six years and 100 million and they're like yes absolutely and it's like the pirates trying to give that to brian reynolds and he's like running away <laughs> it's so true because he was literally going to the media going i have asked to be traded yes i have made it abundantly clear I'm like, oh my gosh jeez it's all part of the negotiation yes do you think they lowballed him though on i don't think they did it's a hundred million, right? Yeah, it's a little. I think it's a little over a hundred, but it's like eight years or something too, which is awesome. Yes. Um, I don't think they. I don't think they lowball them. I think for that franchise, like for a team that never spends money and doesn't lock their players up, to have him be the guy, yeah, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, I agree. I, I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying like, "Oh, this was oh, they totally lowballed him." Like, I completely disagree. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna give. 200 million to Brian Reynolds. Like he's a great outfit. I think the, I think the Yankees even to try to try to trade for him at some yes, point. Yes, they did uh, last trade deadline. 
yeah, Pirates stuck with him, and now they have like Key Brian Hayes locked up, Reynolds locked up, like all these like O'Neill Cruz is going to come back. It's it's going to be yeah. a fun time. Yeah, good time to be a Pirates um, fan. 